When I come to the temple, I think of Jesus Christ, of his teachings, of his gospel, and it helps me learn much more about the way he wants me to be, the way he was, and the teachings that he gave us. Some people are puzzled by the concept of a temple, which has a very special place in Mormon life. We have meeting houses where we go every Sunday, but the temple is different. Here, we don't have Sunday meetings or anything. It's closed on Sundays. This place, the temple, is a very special place where we perform sacred ordinances for us. A temple is a place where members of our church can worship God. We pray in the temple. We make covenants with God. We promise to live commandments with a greater sense of commitment. It's also a place where we perform ordinances such as baptisms for our ancestors that didn't receive those ordinances while they were on the earth. Today we came to the temple to get married here uh, by the power and the authority of the priesthood. The blessings that we receive in the temples can't be found anywhere else on earth. It is not a marriage just for the life, the mortal life, but also for the eternity. We know that in ancient Israel, temples were significant. And temples were important at the time of Christ. Christ went into the temple to preach and to teach. And so he wanted temples at the center of the religious community. In fact, temples came even before meeting houses in the early Latter-day Saint community. It was part of the restoration of all of the things that God had given his children over time. I feel that the, the Mormon experience of the temple has sort of restored that meaning to the word temple. Temple was the uh, house of God. It was where the divine and the human touched. In the biblical period, the idea of a temple is it's a special place where God's presence is always to be found. 1 Corinthians 15, where Paul speaks about those who baptize themselves for the dead, and uh, obviously takes for granted that A, there were people who did so, and he has no complaint about it. Now with the Mormons, we have it again as a practice. It's a beautiful thing. I could think of myself as taking part in such an act extending the blessings that have come to me in and through Jesus Christ. That's generous, that's beautiful. I have never attended the temple, but that I have left feeling inspired, encouraged, and more focused. And it is in the temples where we can get respite from the pressures and the activity and the hustle and bustle of the things in the rest of our lives and take time out to contemplate, to reflect, to be instructed, and to serve. I really enjoy the blessings that we received in the temple. I love to be there each time to pour out my heart to my Father in heaven. The temple has made me a better person. We always want to have a temple very close to us because we know those activities that go on that improves our, our lives. Uh, it improves our lives. In the temple here in Hong Kong, you know, people from Mongolia, people from Thailand, people from Southeast Asia, they can come here for receive the blessing uh, from the Lord. It's really blessed that we have the temple in Hong Kong. We are from India. This is uh, my family, my father, my mother, and this is one of my sisters. And I am so excited to, to be here in this temple, Hong Kong temple. It is a very big blessing for us uh, to be here. We are blessed to come to this Hong Kong temple and we feel that God himself has invited us. We feel very happy. My family, many blessings, very happy. God loves us, and I can feel His love here in the temple, and I can 
understand more his blessings by giving us an eternal family. The temple is truly heaven on earth.